All right, so we're going to do some division here, and there's a couple of different ways to think about division. One's called partitive, the other's called quotative. We're not going to worry about all that today. Today, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about uh, sharing amongst equal, uh, sharing equally amongst people or plates or dogs or whatever. So, uh, in this case, it's going to be fair share. All right, we're going to be sharing equally. Uh, and the best way to understand this one is, is for us to just do an example. So it says uh, four students find a plate with 24 cookies on it and they share them equally with one another. How many cookies does each student get? All right, so so let's model this. And uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something a little silly, I guess. Uh, here's one person. And then here's another person. And then here's another person. And I'm drawing really big heads on purpose uh, because now we've got those 24 cookies and we need to hand those out. Uh, this is called partitive because we know that we have four students. And so we know how many parts we're gonna take those cookies and cut them into, uh, we're gonna cut those cookies into four equal piles. Uh, so this is why it's called partitive. And uh, uh, we know it's gonna be four piles because we have four students. So let's take those 24 cookies and let's hand them out. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, so what you see is I'm just going to keep going, but what I'm doing is I am handing out those cookies, one cookie to each person, and I'm going back and forth, just making sure that we are sharing fairly. All right, so uh, let's see, we're at 12, now we're at 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Four. So there I am. I've done my 24 cookies. I've handed out my 24 cookies and with our four students. And we figured out that each student gets six cookies. How do we know that each student gets six cookies? Because I can see that there's six cookies for this student, six cookies for this student, etc. So the way we're going to write this is we're going to write this as 24 divided by four equals six. I have no idea what that is, so I'll erase it. So 24 divided by four equals six. What's the 24? 24 is the four, uh, 24 cookies. And then, oh wait, I wonder if I could do this. No, nope. okay, what's this? Oh, neat, I just learned something. Okay, so 24 <laughs> uh, is the 24 cookies. The four is the four students, and the six is the fact that each student gets six cookies. Now we can write this as a multiplication. We could say uh, four times what equals 24, meaning each student gets how many cookies to equal 24? So four copies of what gives us 24 and we can see four copies of six here's six plus six plus six plus six gives us 24. so let's let's uh, just do another example so here we go we've got 35 jelly beans are sorted equally um, into five jars so this time we know uh, the partitive we know we're going to take those 35 jelly beans and we're going to sort them into five equal parts those are the jars right and so let's do it so we've got five jars so i don't know let's let's do a jar and we don't have to do these all perfectly right uh, i'm going to call that a jar <laughs> okay pretend oops whoa i didn't want to delete undo I wanted to copy and paste and paste and paste and we're getting too large so I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller and copy and paste all right so there's our five uh, jars that it says we're supposed to have. There's our five jars. Now it says we're supposed to take those 35 jelly beans and sort them equally amongst um, 
those jars. Oh, let's do green. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, and then thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty four, thirty five. Now, because I reached 35, I'm done passing them out. So now we know the answer. All we have to do is look at our picture. And our picture says that 35 divided by 5 equals, and then all we have to do is count how many jelly beans are in each um, jar. And we can see that each jar has 7 jelly beans. So what is that as a multiplication sentence? Five copies of what equals 35. Here's our five copies. And what was inside each one? It was a seven. Five copies of seven equals 35. I wonder if I did that up here. No, I never did. <laughs> this is six, four copies of six. Okay, good enough. All right, and then here we go. So 21 divided by three. What does 21 divided by three mean? Well, it means you've got three buckets. One, two, three, and I have no idea what that is. Okay, three buckets, and then we're going to sort them out. Uh, sort the 21, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. There I've handed out my 21 things to my three buckets. And all I have to do is count how many are in each of these buckets. And I can see that each bucket has seven. So we can see that 21 total Here's seven, here's seven, here's seven. So 21 divided by three is seven. So we can write that as seven times three. Another way we could have written it is three times seven is 21, meaning three copies of seven. And that wraps up this idea of division as sharing equally, fair sharing. It's called partitive. In our next video, we're going to talk about a different way to think about division. But right now, it's all about sharing fairly.